Much better. Now this is one seriously cool machine. It's a Compact Presario CDS 924 paired with the uh, Presario 150 display. Um, everything on this is original except for the RAM. I have upgraded the RAM but everything else is as it was from the factory including its 500-ish uh, megabyte quantum fireball hard drive that still miraculously works. Yes, this system is in very, very good condition for its age, and I am very happy to have it in my collection. Uh, let's go ahead and power this thing up and see what it can do. Okay, we are into the Windows 3.1 desktop. Um, yeah, seems to be working just fine. You'll notice there's a little bit of uh, border around this display. I've got her in 640 by 480 mode, but it can go up to um, I think 800 by 600, even 1366 by 768. But uh, maybe not. Not it's not a not the 16 by 9 you, you know what I mean. It can go higher resolution on this display, um, but it starts to kind of freak out a little bit um, with the kind of bezels and things around it. Just, I don't know. I think there's like a backup battery or something that's dead in the machine because it seems to lose all of its uh, positional settings every time it turns off. Um, so, yeah, either that or there's some failing capacitors in the um, actual driver board on this display but it looks all right and for the most part it works just fine i'll probably eventually crack it open see if i can figure out what's causing the weird weirdness with the display i can also see just a slight bit of ghosting on the screen around the edge of some of the um, objects so unfortunately the crt isn't quite as good as it could be but I've seen much worse, so I won't complain about it too much. Um, so yeah, it's uh, a great little machine. We got a 486 uh, DX266 megahertz in here, uh, 38 megs of RAM I think I have it loaded with, and a 500 meg hard drive, so pretty capable for around the 1993-94-ish era when this would have been released. Um, this model, I believe, was also released with a Pentium processor in it around the same time, so this was kind of the budget model of the machine. Um, but it's still fairly capable, and uh, I'll show you what it can do here. Let's go ahead and launch, uh, let's say, some City 2000, because it's one of the best games ever made. At least, I believe it is anyway. A lot of people also agree with that. You'll get a uh, taste of the onboard audio here. Assuming that I have it hooked up right. 
Uh, doesn't sound like it. Let's see if I have the speakers turned off. Yes, I do. There we go. Yes, there is um, a binary audio control, volume control on this, uh, on or off. It has no actual volume control whatsoever on the speakers. You can just turn them off if you don't want it running. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. But it does have built-in audio on the main board. I'm not sure what it all is compatible with. I believe Sound Blaster compatible, so yeah, make of that what you will. <clears throat> let's see, let's load up Splubville because yes. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, it's running okay. It's a little slow for SimCity 2000. SimCity 2000 runs better on a Pentium, but uh, everything runs better on a Pentium. But yeah, it's playable. And it looks just fine on this screen. Actually, I don't mind this display at all. If I can just fix the scaling issues on there, it uh, would be perfectly usable. So that's that. Let's go ahead and exit to DOS and have a play around with some of the other stuff that was uh, loaded on here because they're actually... Um, I have not reloaded the OS. This is how I got it. There really wasn't any personal data on here of any kind. Just a few games, so I just left it alone. Um, go over to the games folder here. We just got our standard, like, solitaire and crap. Um, but if I exit Windows and boot us back out to the DOS menu, or back out to the DOS prompt, we should be able to see that uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, Epic. There's Epic Mega Games. So if we do CD Epic and do a directory of that, we'll see what's in here. Uh, pin CD. I'm going to guess that's Epic Pinball. So CD Pin CD. Directory of that. Um, that is not what I was thinking it was. Do a directory by page. Uh, ah, there we go. Apogee. So it would be under Apogee pick CD. And let's see what we've got in here. We got Jill of the Jungle, uh, Epic Pinball, Duke Nukem 2, Halloween Harry, Solar, don't know what that is, Keen, Commander Keen 4, Mystic, Bricks, and Hocus. Yeah, some of these I'm not familiar with, but. Uh, Let's try Jill, because everybody's familiar with that game, except me, really, because I've never played it. Um, directory, imagine it's Jill, yep. Yep, and Jill of the Jungle. Uh, da, 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 da. Digital Sound Blaster effects on. This is the first time I've ever run this. Uh, no joystick, 16 color EGA graphics. And that's fine. How do you jump? So that works. I don't know how to play the game at all, but yeah. Um, Okay, I had to turn the volume down on there. That's as low as it'll go, so...
Hmm, not getting any sound on this. And of course I have absolutely no idea how to play it. Sounds cool though. Wow, that's really loud. Okay. How do I turn that down? I guess you don't. How do you shoot? Ah, like that. That's impressively loud. All right, enough of that. Well, that's just a little demo of the Presario CDS 924. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I just wish there was a way to control the volume on those speakers because, uh, yeah, they are incredibly loud and there's really not much you can do about it. <laughs> um, it seems like all the volume is controlled in-game. Um, we have contrast adjustments and brightness adjustments, but uh, nothing for volume except to uh, turn it off. So, yeah, that's a bit weird that they chose not to put any sort of uh, volume control on there. At least I haven't found one yet. I've, uh, <laughs> I've checked everywhere. The speakers just plug straight into the back of the machine. They must have some sort of built-in amplifier. Um, but, yeah. Overall, pretty cool machine, though. I like it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next one.